Uh, my name is Zach Mitchmore. I am from Mansfield, Texas. This is my 95 240SX that me and my dad built together this off season. We're running in the Pro-Am Drift Series this year for Lone Star Drift. Um, basically, it's just around Texas, and uh, we're going to be hitting all the events this year, running the Pro-Am Series, hoping to do good. As a little kid, I've always been driving something. I learned how to drive stick when I was seven years old. Uh, my dad used to own a shop, so I always drove something when I was little. Drifting started for me, or early stages of sliding something was I had a Can-Am Commander. For those of you who don't know what that is, it was like a UTV. Um, and I used to drive that in the pasture out of my grandparents' house in Longview because they have 10 acres. And I uh, started sliding that and doing all that stuff, and that's where it started for me. Um, of course, when I got my car when I was 16, I have a 2008 Mustang GT, it's a bullet. I started jacking around with that car in the street, um, which don't recommend doing that, but you know, everybody does it when they're a kid, I guess you can say. But me and my buddies had a couple spots that we went to and uh, I just picked it up pretty fast in that car. When I got into something like this, it progressed better because when you start in something that's harder to drift than something like this, I guess it just helped me a lot. The stages of where I'm at, now versus then are extremely different. I'm, I'm way more, um, I guess you could say I'm a step up or a level up in my driving ability drifting wise. first bought the car, it had an LS1 back to the G56 with a full sticky swap kit. The previous owner um, crashed it into a guardrail trying to drift, so the front course port was completely all crashed in. That's where the two front leads in. This off season was huge for me. With the help of my dad and a couple of family members, we had the car just basically go through a full makeover. We got a cage from Rhodes Racing. Um, basically, the main hoop is pre-bent. Um, everything else is kind of, you have to just go on your own with it. So me and my dad and the help of another guy at the shop put the cage in ourselves, which is a huge, huge opportunity to learn. I ended up tubing the front end on it. We did cut the strut towers off, or cut the rail in front of the strut tower off, and we ended up tubing the whole front, which is really cool. The new heart of the drift car this season is an LS3 525 motor from Chevrolet. Uh, the motor comes fresh with uh, basically hopped up heads and cam to make 525. We have a Mishimoto three row radiator in the car to keep it cool. We have a full PSI harness. Um, the car is still staying uh, not fly by wire. We're still staying throttle cable, which is really good. Hate fly by wire. Don't know if any of you guys like it, but that's just me. Also, we have a Holly throttle body on it to keep it throttle cable, like I said earlier. On the front of the motor, I have an ICT billet. Um, accessory drive bracket, holds the alternator, power string pump, all that good stuff. On the bottom of the motor, I have a Canton Racing oil pan along with our oil filter relocation. The oil pan has baffles in it, so when the car is sliding sideways, we don't lose oil pressure and ruin our perfectly good motor. Moving inside the car, I'll be sitting in an NRG racing seat. On the bottom of that seat is Buddy Club rails. To control and start the car, I'll be using a quick car switch panel um, with the start, ignition, fan, fuel pump, etc. Uh, makes the car super easy to run, um, makes wiring super simple, so if we have a problem, we know where to chase the wires to and we can find what's going on. Moving to the rear of the car, I'm running an S13 welded diff. It will be spinning my brand new Cosmos wheels wrapped in Kenda tires. This year, I'm happy to be partnered with Cosmos Racing Wheels. They sent me out a set of their 18 by 9.5 MR2s in white, which I really think set off the color of the car well. Speaking of the color of the car, um, this year the color brought up a big controversy. Um, I'm a crazy person, I wanted to go with a crazy color, so we ended up going with a hot pink candy on the inside of the car and on the bay. I think it really sets it off well. Um, it's something that I definitely don't think anybody else has. As for the exterior of the car, um, we're gonna keep it similar to the shade of green that we have on it right now. It's actually an OEM Nissan color, but we're gonna do something that has a little bit more depth and matches with the pink because of how crazy it is. The experience this off scene has been really cool. I got to do the whole project of the car with my dad and the help of some other people from the family. Um, me and my dad have never done anything like this before, so it was really cool to get to experience that together and just basically build a car together. 
I'm really thankful that my parents support me in my sport. Um, obviously, it's not a normal average sport, um, but when I brought up the idea, they ran with it, and they're really excited for me and where it's going to take me. I'm blessed to have all the support from the friends and family, um, whether it be friends turning a wrench and working on the car, to family just sticking with me through my passion. Um, I'd like to say thank you to everybody that helped. I'm stoked for the new car and the 2017 season. If you want to follow where the process takes me, uh, my Instagram is Zach underscore Mitchell. Yeah. Are you good? That's it. That'll be the, that'll be the ending. So unless there's anything else you want to say. Boy!